Hi, it's Stella from Maple University. And this is Stella's short and sweet for Black Angel from Pearl Games. What happens when Earth is almost uninhabitable? The great nations are forced to work together to create Project Black Angel, the first intergalactic ship in history. Each player works as an AI or artificial intelligence trying to explore the galaxy, collecting resources, technology, and destroy hostile aliens. The game plays one to four players with mechanics such as hand management, tile placement, bit of a puzzle there, and dice rolling and of medium complexity. In Black Angel, your action is driven by dice placement. You start off with rolling your three dice of different color. Each turn, you take one of your die and place on an area or card to execute the action. If you want, you can pay a gem resource to buy one of your opponent's die. You then draw a mission card, the same color as the color of the die you use of your turn. The die that you use then get put back to common die pool. Optionally, before the start of your die action, you can activate the tiles on your player board by discarding mission card, the same color tiles on that row or column as the mission card you use. When you're out of dice, you grab dice depending on a robot you place on the die space in previous turns and re-roll them and Black Angel ships will move up, the set tile at the bottom will flip and put on top, and any mission cards on it will go to the player whose mission it is, potentially for more points at the end of the game. There are many ways to score points in this game. A lot of requires you do prior planning and a few steps beforehand. Things like moving your robot and placing mission cards on planets, later on placing your die on completed mission cards to give up resources for points, score points on your tiles, the tiles that you previously obtained with your die action, and so on. Gathering resources are quite tight. Part of your individual puzzle is to slide your tiles to later on efficiently activate those tiles for resources and points. The mechanics where tiles move up and the black angel moves reminds me of the game called Selenia. A lot of the actions would chain to give you another bonus. Feels a bit like some of Lacerda's game. While planning and gazing into the world of Black Angel, I must mention too that beautiful art was done by Ian O'Toole. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my next videos. Write any questions in the comment sections below. You can also follow me on Instagram for board game photos and reviews. Until next time!